What up, Red K? Wally Mouth Gaming, and we got a earnings call from WB Games, which is now, uh, you know, they're with Discovery. It's a whole thing, but we usually end up learning something, so we'll check it out right after this. So, uh, according to Event Hubs, uh, after the last server flop, Warner Brothers is focused on the four franchises for video games, including MK. Uh, we're getting this from a earnings call. If you don't remember, uh, Warner Brothers was sold off to Discovery and they sold off a lot of stuff, but they kept MK, which is, in my personal belief, the reason why we got more MK1 instead of Injustice, which was the next game in the line or whatever the case is. But whatever the case may be, um, <laughs> Discovery likes to just blurt out stuff on these earning calls, uh, knowing that we're listening. So it is what it is, man. So Warner Brothers Discovery has been in a rough spot to say the least with the uh, bombings of, um, well, first they had Gotham Knights, which is, uh, that was that was terrible. And uh, the sales for Suicide uh, Squad Kill the Justice League, it was pretty, pretty much uh, equally, everybody thought it was terrible. I mean, they just, they really just, so they wouldn't get sued, uh, finished the game, but it was, it was, it was bad. Uh, bad i don't even like shooters i tried it the story was great but this but the actual gameplay around the cutscenes, not not so great so apparently it's gotten to the point where warner brothers games is going to slim down their focus in the future titles and revolve around four ips in particular uh, the company has its quarterly earnings call earlier this week uh, where uh, wb ceo david zauzak something like that uh stated their gaming division is substan substantially underperforming its potential no shit whose fault is that and it's certainly not all he had to say about Warner Brothers gaming uh, ventures lately it's like you have a jewel in Batman and the Gotham series Gotham Knight Gotham Asylum Gotham City and you go you know what let's make a looter shooter out of because that's what that's what these people want obviously I think we're through some of the worst and hasn't been pretty on the gaming business, uh, said the president. Uh, but we have four games that are really powerful and have a real consistency and a real crowd that love them. Um, and we're going to focus on those four games. Primarily, uh, we're going to go away from trying to launch 10, 12, 15, 20 different games, which they never did to begin with. They just launched games people didn't want. That's just to let you know. I think we have some real a real chance now to focus to have uh, the gaming business be steadier. This comes as WB Games uh, revenue declined by 31% year over year for the quarter ending in September 30th since Mortal Kombat 1 strong launch boosted them during a period in 2020. And then they want to sell MK. They wanted to sell off Netherrealm, which might have been for the, I don't even know. I won't even say that, but they wanted to sell off Netherrealm and that's what got them their earning, whatever. Uh, Warner has a 3 million write down for its games in 2024, uh, which is not great. Uh, with the majority of that attributing to the flop of Suicide uh, Squad Kill the Justice League, which is, by the way, a game nobody wanted and the developers didn't want to make. And people left the studio because they knew it would be a bomb. And then when it it uh, it, 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 it previewed in the uh, state of play, even the PlayStation gamers said, "This is we don't want this. This is, this is a bad game. Chief Financial Officer uh, Gunnar Winnefels Reveals multiverses in particular underperformed. <laughs> it's a free-to-play game. What do you expect, man? That they relaunched, and uh, it's fun. Uh, 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 multiverses is fun, but it's a free-to-play game. What are you gonna What are you gonna get with a free-to-play game? You know, it's not smart. Uh, because of that, leading to an additional one million to reach that three hundred million number they currently sit at. So it seems they're attempting to pull their reins back and have a tighter direction aimed uh, for properties in particular. Uh, we have four strong, profitable games. Franchise with loyal global fan Hogwarts, which was a hit. I still haven't finished playing it. Mortal Kombat, Game of Thrones, and DC in particular, Batman. So I don't know if that means anything about, uh, you know, the future and what is going to be Injustice 3, if that's down the pipeline. But Batman's in Injustice, so I guess maybe, I don't know. This comes after a year in which uh, WB uh, said they were putting more emphasis on live service and free to play titles. I guess they're not doing that anymore. Uh, which appears to have largely backfired as their big loss leaders now. Uh, that was an interesting move. Uh, when Hogwarts Legacy and MK1 were their primary breadwinners at the time, uh, but it may be a part of the larger trend of large-scale games moving back away from live service and seem to be produced more disappointments than success stories across the industry for the past few years. 
very few years, uh, can anybody say Concord? And even Mortal Kombat uh, has been a part of the uh, winners and losers with the Warner Gambling Pillars. It hasn't been fantastic time in the year lately. Uh, largely, NetherRealm Studios laid off 50 people across the entire mobile development team. Uh, the Mortal Kombat uh, uh, mobile game has been online since what? Uh, MKX. So it's not a surprise, but you, 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 you hate to see developers get fired, especially good developers. You know what I'm saying? Although it seems NRS may already be working on their next AAA title, uh, the estimate of the Warner supporting MK1 for three to four years is looking more likely now unless they want to move on sooner, which I hope they don't let the game work. MK1 had a terrible launch. Uh, the DLC pack's good though, and the game is really getting into its own, gaining a little bit more speed every month. Uh, the player base is actually growing with MK1, even though the game just had bad word of mouth. It's getting, it's, it, I think MK1 has gotten another two years in it. Just, just wait. The Ultimate Fatal Multiversus remains up in the air too, with the free-to-play platform fighting game not living up to scale expectations after going dark with the beta for a year and then relaunching. It's crazy. Oh, uh, man. Uh, maybe the new season focused around some popular girls in DC, Raven, and an Adventure Time Machine. Um, I'm sorry, Marceline uh, can help give Multiverse the boost it needs. Uh, there were, of course, rumors to that Warner was looking to sell off some of their gaming divisions, but it seems to no longer be the case, or at least Mortal Kombat won't be going anywhere. And of course, Warner is not even Warner Brothers anymore. It's Discovery. It's a whole big thing. Um, but fighting games are here to stay. I guess the model of penny pitching us by season by season is working. Uh, Multiverses, we'll see. It's not Smash, but I think it's a game. It's a free-to-play game. I think you can keep the servers on. Uh, but if they did sell off uh, MK or NetherRealm Studios, who do you think would be a great fit to house MK? Till next time, man. I'm Red K. See you guys online. I'm out. Peace.